We are into day 12 of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Hi, I'm Kim Hye Sung with the latest on the games. Let's kick and take things off with the highlights. The South Korea women's curling team is competing against Denmark as we speak, the last preliminary match for the South Korean curlers. The home team already beat the Olympic athletes from Russia by 11 to 2 earlier today after the latter called it quits in the sixth end. South Korea has claimed seven wins so far and it will play next in the semifinals Friday evening. In the women's single skating short program this morning, South Korea's Choi Da Bin scored 67.77 points, pulling off a personal best to rank eighth. 15 year old Kim Ha Nil came in 21st place, and both of them will be going for the free skating program Friday. Russia's Alina Zakitova came in first with a world record of 82.92 points. In the alpine skiing women's downhill, Italy's Sofia Gozia claimed gold, beating the United States' Lindsey Vaughn, who had to settle for bronze. The 25-year-old Italian skater clocked in at 1 minute 39.22 seconds, coming 900th of a second ahead of Norway's Langhild Movindel, who claimed silver. Last night, South Korea clinched its fourth gold in the women's 3,000-meter short track speed skating relay, defending the medal it won at Sochi 2014. The four-member team clocked in at 4 minutes 7.361 seconds, beating Italy and the Netherlands, who won silver and bronze. The gold medal finish also gave 19-year-old Choi Min Jung her second gold of this year's Winter Olympics. And now let's take a look at the medal tally. As of 8 p.m., Norway's on top with 11 gold, 11 silver, and 9 bronze. Trailing behind is Germany with a total of 23 medals. Sweden is seventh, and South Korea is in the ninth place with four gold, two silver, and two bronze. And there are still more exciting events lined up. The semifinals for the men's team pursuit in speed skating will take place soon. South Korea will be racing against New Zealand. If Team Korea makes it to the final, it could be in the gold medal hunt shortly after quarter past 10. In the women's competition, South Korea will compete in the D final, racing Poland in less than an hour from now. Now on Thursday, there's the men's ski halfpipe final run and the match that will determine whether Canada or the U.S. will take the gold in women's ice hockey is slated for 1.10 p.m. And still to come, excitement will flood the ice arena at Gangneung as short track speed skating events take place on Thursday evening. That's all I have for now. Stay tuned to Arirang News for the latest updates on the PyeongChang Winter Olympics and I'll leave you with today's results.